Ellen. Oprah. The Real. Wendy. Jerry Springer. Jerry. Not Jerry Springer. Not that far back. Well, y'all get my point. All of these shows were legendary and they were cool, but... Where are the shows for us? us. Cue, Cue the, the intro. intro. Sophie Joe, and, and you, you are, are watching, watching Sister Sound Off. Woo -woo! Guys, this is a show where our voices can be heard and celebrated. We've got everything you need from hot, juicy topics to deep discussions. And they're all from a sister's point of view. Sister and, and sister. You feel me? Period. So guys, we are so excited. Today is actually our first, first episode. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we in this thing like if you guys are listening via podcast audio only we just popped some confetti poppers <laughs> when nobody's shooting we in a safe environment yes uh, oh that was cute wow. that was we need to get more this is our first time using these very right, cute yeah. so guys let's get right hold up let me get the confetti on Ooh. <laughs> so now that the confetti has jumped out the cannon, let's jump into our first segment of Sister Celebrity Scoop. We got the latest news and they got some for you. Bow, bow. That's right. So since what we have in today's episode, who are we starting off with? Yeah, guys. So as we know, Sunday night, the BET Soul Train Awards came on, hosted by our girl, Kiki, Kiki. Palmer, who we absolutely love and adore. Such a talented act. Um, she did an amazing job hosting this year. A little different. There's been some comments about where the Soul Train Awards was had. Um, yeah. I don't know if it was actually her house, but it was like a backyard setting. I think it was her house. Kiki got bank. Okay. Anyways, but regardless of what house it was it was beautiful it did take us uh a little time to get adjusted because you know it, it wasn't what we expected you know right. a backyard award show <laughs> <laughs> but it does i mean it was gorgeous and most of the people who performed uh did a great job coco jones janelle monet swv yeah so let's you brought the legend out and of course, T Pain got the I Am Soul. Oh yeah, Soul Train Legend Award, yeah. which you put on. A, you know what? We kind of forgot how big <laughs> For T Pain was during, that, like what oh six oh seven yeah. five. We kind of sort of forgot, but when he was doing his own tribute to himself, I was like okay wow yeah. i mean me and my sister was just up dancing like oh i remember this oh yeah i remember i used to skate to this it was yeah skating. so he definitely deserved his flowers definitely um, uh we also had um newcomer singer october london i believe his name is he performed his number one hit but all in all kiki palmer also performed called ungorgeous yeah that Her was really good and she looked great Amazing. body the dancers were great Every, and her most importantly i loved how she hosted it which i knew she was going to do a good job but you know with the little digs here the jokes there like she kept us laughing like she usually does right. so perfect was, personality to host any award show yeah yeah i would I, like to see her host the bet awards not just soul train yeah but, um because yeah. i remember i think a couple of years ago not a couple, yeah during the pandemic she hosted the virtual uh vmas and even though no one was there, obviously, because of the circumstances, she did a great job. Yep. So, shout yeah, out shout Kiki. out to Kiki Palmer. Um, next up, guys, we just wanted to mention Dolly Parton at the recent Thanksgiving football game, the halftime. Of course, it was the Dallas Cowboys uh, played versus, I forgot who else, I'm not a football fan. But everybody yeah. has been talking about Dolly Parton's halftime look and performance. Yeah, she performed with the legendary cheer squad, Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. And... You know, with somebody of her age, 78? 78, Dolly Parton. Yeah, so, you know, and this is not to Asian people at all, but, you know, we're thinking, you know, oh, she'll come out there and just do a little something, something, nice gown or whatever, I don't know. 
She came out there, honey, with the whole cheer outfit. Look, it was giving exactly. very much bring it on. And stomach I was like, called flat flizzat. Okay. okay. <laughs> My like, stomach gave me that flat since I was about five years old. But uh, shout out to the legendary Dolly, Dolly Parton. Parton. Yes. Okay. Dolly Parton with all the parts looking right. Okay. Oh, right. All the body parts looking she right. She looked so good. Um, so, guys, we already know, unless you live under a rock, there's been a lot going on with Diddy, Puff Daddy. Uh, Sean, Sean Diddy um, Combs love uh, Young Miami's boo uh, <laughs> y'all we have an update Bad boy CEO right. all kind of names but. we have an update on the Diddy and Cassie and sexual allegation situation this is all alleged but apparently more victims women have come out saying that they have been sexually assaulted, assaulted and yeah. just mistreated by Diddy. Yeah, so about three or four women have come forward um, alleging the allegations of, as far as sexual assault goals, being abused, things like that. And this comes maybe a week or two weeks after Cassie and the whole uh, suing that she did with Diddy. Yep. You know, she sued him for $30 million and they quickly closed that out. So right after that, that's when these other women which I kind of figure would happen. Um, now, it has come out that Diddy's team has released a statement saying, yeah. you know, he believes that now these other women are coming out trying to suit him just because they need financial gain. Or right. like, it's the prime time to say, me too, basically. Right. I don't know what's going on, but hey, I've heard a lot of things about Diddy, and I'm sure more and more details will come out about Diddy and his whole time in the industry, who he's allegedly missed treated and used and abused yeah. so we will definitely keep y'all updated on Puff Daddy yes because um, there also been some things said from his formal security guard uh, I'm not going to quote too much on that but basically long story short he said he's seen a lot but he didn't say anything <clears throat> so we'll yeah. keep y'all on that mm -hmm. someone else who has been in <laughs> sexual allegations this one's kind of bad this one is a shock yeah um i'm not gonna say whether i believe it or not but jamie fox has been yes you know has been accused of sexual misconduct or you know mis abuse or whatever so not too much i know about the story right now i think his team did release a statement saying it ain't true yeah you know they're still working on because it's a new story, you know, stuff is still developing, but, oh, honey, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, Hollywood, guys. Like, it's getting crazy. People are getting more comfortable and confident in telling their truth, quote yeah. unquote. So, don't think you can be out here using and abusing people anymore, how it was mm -hmm. back in the mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. um, you so see Megan Good's little boo thing? That's kind of was quiet for a second. Mm -hmm. You know, Megan, ain't she dating... Uh, Creed actor. Oh, Jonathan. yeah. Jonathan Majors. Mm -hmm. We didn't hear too much about that, act, but, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, Guys, another story we have for you. Jamie Lynn Spears has yeah. come out recently. Let's, let's keep with the Jamies. <laughs> right, right. Jamie Lynn Spears has come out recently and just telling about her story. As we all know, Jamie was a young mom. She got pregnant, Um, you know, a teen mom at a young age. And I do remember when she got pregnant how people was like, kind of so shook like your career so your life is over and just shunned her and just she she said like she's the first ever teen. 16 and pregnant mom like right she said it was so bad that she moved to mississippi anytime you pick anywhere in the 50 states <laughs> and you pick mississippi she right. said she moved to mississippi with gated you know in a gated home with security because that's the only place where she could kind of semi be low key and, you know it's not crazy paparazzi because obviously it's a sip you know and yeah. they're down there with KKK's and barbecue plates for sale on the side of the road um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah she was just saying and how her mom her parents even were so terrible to her for being pregnant that young and that whole Spears family is I just... was just gonna get in there I'm like oh that's we're kind of seeing a little bit of, of Britney's ordeal, you know, yeah. with the whole conservatorship and everything that she, and alleged abuse that she was facing. So now we're kind of hearing her little sister's side of her story when she was going through her pregnancy. Right. By the way, for some of you who don't know, Jamie Lynn Spears is Britney Spears' younger sister. Yeah. <laughs> and she played on... Uh, Zoe 101. Yeah. My one of my favorite shows. But So moving on, guys, to the last story that is... 
another <laughs> troubled teen. Well, not troubled, but yeah, y'all, T.I. and Tiny Son King um, Harris. Who is acting like a more of a, a brat. Spoiled prince kind of. right now. <laughs> um, he's been in the making headlines actually for a while about his giant teeth that he got, which, you know, whatever. But King was going live the other day um, in Atlanta for the Falcons game. And apparently he was getting joned on about him basically being Silver Spoon, even though King really wants to be from the hood. He wants to be of the struggle life, but he wasn't. So his parents were just telling him like, boy, you did not grow up struggling in no hood. He was getting into it with his parents, joking. But being a young, super young adult, I think he's 20, your emotions, you get embarrassed easily. They were in front of a lot of people. I think he was getting embarrassed. Yeah, and see, the thing is, this has come up before. This is not the first time he's brought up. It has come up before Yeah, with his parents were with social media and you know people discussing it so the fact that he's going back again still trying to fight trying to fight this statement like exactly. i'm not a sport like, right i'm from he I, said uh i'm from the bando i stay with my grandma so just right. to wrap it up for you guys he was starting to get like serious and then tiny was like boy you know you better check yourself you know this right. is who your parents don't yeah. don't get it twisted don't get disrespectful right him and T.I. calling each other the N-word. I don't know who pushed who first, but from the live, it looks like T.I. had to put King in a headlock <laughs> or a choker. He had to get him together, okay? Right. Like, saying, you... <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy. You it's... must forgot who I am. I'm <laughs> T.I.P. Did my daddy high. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it was crazy. And speaking of T.I., after he apparently put him in a full... Uh, what, what is it? Full uh, Nelson. Full Nelson. He... <laughs> walked out with the with the football team because you know he was performing for the Falcons game his song bring him out and he was just like and I remember some people saying he, he looked like Solange when she came out the elevator and everything was fine <laughs> like nobody saw what happened before right. but it, it's just with back to his son it's like King what? wants to be hard he can be hard but he wants to be from the struggle yeah like I'm from Bankhead too I have to do this and that like, he, was I'm like, the- he was like I didn't grow up behind them gates yeah you did but anyways guys enough yeah. about King I'm sure that won't be the last time we'll be talking about him yes. and his growing up you yeah know? it's just time for him to grow up and just <clears> first <throat> off don't ever try your parents like that period Um, and you know hopefully they can work that out you know these kids these days child I just don't, I don't know Okay. Right. <laughs> now, over the weekend, you guys, I know you have seen on social media all of the beautiful stars that came out for the one and only Queen Bee's Renaissance premiere. It was a silver carpet event. Definitely for the stars, honey, because yes. everybody looks bomb. But on this show, we want to focus on the fashion. Yes, y'all. The Renaissance premiere happened. Let's get into a segment of Nailed, Nailed it, it or Failed It. Okay. Let's get him. What we got first, sis? Um, uh, I did want to point out that I had the grateful opportunity to attend the Renaissance World Tour in Atlanta. Had the time of my life. So excited I got to see Queen Bee. Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's get into um, her girl and former DC member, Miss Kelly, Kelly Rowland. So, did she nail it or fail it? Let's see. For me, guys, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with nail it. I'm not a big fan of the silver dress. I don't like the '80s poof at the end. I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. But the shoes are cute. Hair is bomb. And of course, the skin is skinning. So she's got to nail it for me. She's got to nail it for me. I kind of looking at this. We have a similar hairstyle right now. <laughs> so she definitely has a nailed it for me. I love how she was a little fun with the breast area with the pointed. So nailed it. Next up, we've got Lizzie Lizzo. Yes. I'm going to give Lizzo. I don't know. Uh, I'd love the hair color. I like the ginger hair color. I think that's what it is for me. The color is great. I don't like the style. I don't like that sleek they tried to do. And then. It's uh, too much fabric. The uh, Yeah. And then the shoes are giving like 1800 But I like the white. <laughs> <laughs> I had to zoom in. We love you, Liz. That's what I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I, don't... I mean, you guys can see up here. You know, that's just what I, it might look. You know, give you something different, but for me, so it's... I'm gonna say, failed it just because. Yeah, 
Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> give Lizzo a filled it too. Ooh, next up we have Law Roach, stylist Law Roach. Yes. What um, are you thinking? Nailed or failed? I'm giving this a fail. And it sucks because he's a designer. Like he does he dresses great and of course he dresses clients even greater. But this the gray with this um silver hair, the hair is giving uh well, it's not giving actually, but yeah, I'm not um I'm not fooling with this over overly uh draped cardigan that he's wearing with these pants and then the shoes. For me it's a failed it. Uh <laughs> the highlight on the face is way too heavy. The hair too Elvis Presley wig. Yeah, uh, but giving... I like the material of the outfit. I think it's a uh, uh, sweater, not sweater, like jogging pant material. I like it, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a failed it. It's giving black tin man, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Chloe <laughs> Bailey. Chloe. In my opinion, Chloe doesn't really get it wrong too many times, and this time she nailed it. I love the hair, love the purple, yeah. um, the open breast area added a nice touch of sex appeal but not too much i love it yeah it's it's giving um classy but a bit badassy which just definitely describes chloe yeah definitely and uh the purple is great on her the skin's glowing i love how versatile she is with her hair okay it, i mean very so definitely i know that for me girl yeah let's see next up we have my fave Issa ray um Issa, girl um I don't want you go ahead. <laughs> I don't know if it's the posture that's that's not working. The shoes are kind of cute, but the dress is giving Ross dress for less. And yeah, it's I don't know. It's like it's too close up up here, or the stands is a little off. I'm not feeling the pearl earrings. The hairstyle is giving Shirley. To, I don't know. I think for, okay. So for me, it's a failed it. But I think it's just too simple, I guess. Something isn't Something, right. Yeah. I can't, think, yeah, I can't pinpoint <laughs> it, but sorry, Issa. You my girl, but it's a fail it. Yeah, sorry, girl. Is yours a fail? Yeah, it's definitely a fail it. You guys let us know what y'all think, too, because we'll have the picture up here for you. <laughs> okay, next up we have Normani. Mm. My girl, Normani. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna go nailed it for me. At yeah. first, I was on the verge of saying failed because of the bottom half. I didn't like. I don't know what's going on, but I've never seen a blazer done in this but way. I like the bottom. Well, we got two different. We two different people. Oh, no, I'm just. I'm just saying. I like the bottom. Like, I like, and this actually. Now that I'm looking at it, it gives a similar look to Beyonce when she did this with um halftime her formation video she had the black hat and she had she had this on and it was like a leotard i go hard and you know she was doing the hat this is kind of similar so maybe that's the vibe she was going for i, don't know. I really like the heavy uh silver jewelry i really like that but baby um, hairs yeah gray. yeah she looks great it's a it's a thing nailed it for me normani yes who we got it. next miss bring it on <laughs> gabby or Gabrielle Union. Um, uh, I'll go first. It's a failed it. <laughs> a failed it, Gabrielle yeah, Union. A, I don't like the. It's just a failed it. Like yeah. the it it the the shape of the dress doesn't do anything. It's just a failed. Yeah. Um. The two uh the two different materials with some sparkling stuff through in there. That's not working. And then like the hair is cute. The skin's great, but that chicken chicken uh chicken wing pose with the two arms <laughs> that's kind of throwing it off for me too so sorry girl but no okay next up uh we have tyler perry there aren't many men in this category because to be honest when it comes to men and fashion there aren't too many ways you can go it's either a suit or a nice jacket and yeah. a pant but we're gonna go for me i'm gonna say nailed it um i like the touch of diamonds he don't really show off his money like that but i see them diamonds dancing around that neck okay <laughs> um so i like it nailed it yeah it's definitely nailed it for me i like that he kept it simple but still add a little 
uh, confetti to it. Right. You know, the shoes, the, the shades. And yeah, he's looking good. Yeah, I everything like looks it. good. Like those shoes. All right, guys. And next up, we have Victoria Monet. Who's putting it on her mama. Right. <laughs> um, I'm going to go... I don't know if I want to say nailed or failed. I don't know if I like their little red riding. I, I don't know. Something, the hair. It's not a fail, but it's not a nail. <laughs> it's in between. So I'm just going to say nailed it. It's like the nail is in, but it's not hammered in all the way. Right. <laughs> and of course, the last person is the woman of the hour, Miss Queen B herself, Beyonce. Right. Okay. And... Of course, if you guys see, she did all silver, honey. Silver, that's her. Even went platinum blonde, okay? Yeah. Um, I would go with definitely nailed it. I like the simple silver silhouette, how her body looks in it. The classic evening gown vibe. I like the bra, like the design up here. It's kind of giving a little bit of Madonna when she had that little comb bra. Then the, oh, yeah. Then the long blonde hair and the way she poses always poses sometimes right. will make Beyonce an outfit Beyonce is a pose killer yes definitely um, I'm gonna say so, nailed it yeah. sorry my bad no you're good yeah both of us definitely nailed it nailed it she ain't gonna fail on her opening night now um, there are a few things people are commenting about how light she looks but also I think when you do lighter hair it, it brings out your uh, undertone yes that's one yeah she's wearing silver which is a cool I'm getting technic, you know technical but a silver is a cool tone I'm yeah. really taking up for B right now <laughs> but silver is a cool tone which makes you look lighter, lighter especially under she's probably under one million lights right now yeah so. and I mean even from the picture if you guys get a close up from your view you can tell that light is light and light yeah. whatever they're under it is beaming then and of course that type of light is going to reflect off of that bleached blonde and that silver and she's already light tone so you got light light and light Boom. so you Make know you look white okay we don't need to be half <laughs> after us um but guys yes. that was our segment of nailed it or failed it yes one of our favorite segments on the shizzo yes, because um, we love fashion right so and, oh, oh miss fine if you guys like any of the looks, you can go back and look at them and comment below. Let us know who was your nail to the felt it. Right, yeah. Let us know what you guys are thinking. And uh, while you guys are doing that, let's get into a little bit of something we like to call here Sophie's Housewife Hot Minute. So uh, as you guys get to know me through this platform, I love reality TV, especially Housewives. So this is a segment where Danielle gives me 60 seconds to bring um only 60 seconds to break down the latest episode of Housewives. I pretty much watched all of them so right now we're going to break down Real Housewives of Potomac. And the clock starts now. Okay guys I got one minute. Okay so on the latest episode of Real Housewives of Potomac we know that um, Karen shout out to Megan Thee Stallion who shout out it the Grand Dom because she is the Grand Dom for a reason. She held a pickleball event with the husbands and the wives. Um First off, it was a shock to see Robin pull up with Juan Dixon. But we all know the only reason Juan is actually participating in this season of Housewives of Potomac because usually he's hid. So he's participating this time because he's unemployed. They need the money. What else is he doing? Sorry, Juan. So everybody was shook to see them pull up together. Next, we have NECA, which not many people are liking NECA. And I actually hate the fact that um, uh, Bravo is putting the two Nigerians against each other, but she tried to allege that uh, Wendy's mom... It has a shrine or something like that, but we don't believe it. Um, next, I have eight seconds left. Of course, Giselle and Rob, Robin would be excited to see any kind of negativity towards uh, Wendy and her family because they don't like her. So, of course, there the time is up. Boom! That was it. Let me but tell you guys you know something. What? You covered a lot for the first six. <laughs> I still had two more things I wanted to say. Neca, I don't, I don't, I don't like what she's doing with the whole shrine and religious thing with Wendy and Eddie unfollowing Ike. Now, it might be a little truth to that, but if you guys want to know more, of course, I'll be back next week for another episode, and I'll get even more into... We might have to change it from Housewife Hot Minutes to Housewife Hot um, house, Dos Minutes. Housewife Three Minutes. House, house, we'll figure it out, guys, but so far, that's what we've got. Uh, if you want to hear more about my IP, and maybe I'll make TikToks about it. I don't know, but that's Sophie's Housewife Hot Minutes. Minute. Gotta talk fast, y'all. 
<laughs> okay. So then moving on from hot minutes, we also want to talk about who has been hot in the industry right yeah. now with our Who's Making Moves. So nice. guys, because this is our first episode, let's just tell you what it is. Who's Making Moves is just a segment we like because as much, you know, not trash talking, but we do spread the gossip on this show. We also like to point out people who are making moves and doing good in the entertainment and just in the yeah. world. You know, we just want to shine a light on people from our era and on, you know, who's out here doing big things or doing positive things because we don't get the chance to hear that a lot in social media. So Yeah, so the, per- the person who we are um, shining the light on this episode is Miss Kiki, Kiki Palmer. Kiki. Kiki. Kiki, keep a bag. Okay. okay. Big Palmer, big boss. Big boss, <laughs> Kiki. Um, we all know that Kiki Palmer has been in the industry entertaining us since she was a freaking child. Yes, I mean, I'm going back all the way to Keelan the Bee, honey. Like, barbershop, freaking. It's, it's so a, many. Two Jackson VPs, and that time she had a talk show. Yeah, just, youngest person to have a talk show her and, and queen latifah did that movie with the choir oh yeah that she, was yeah not only is she in front of the camera she's also now behind the cameras with her own uh network key tv which i watch um, yes like she, she's really out here young and moving and then of course she just did a just signed a deal with google for black owned businesses and projects yeah so she's working with them i've seen the commercial we all know she just hosted the soul train awards um Mm -hmm. i mean she's a new mom even and of course aside from all the the turmoil that she's going through with her personal life yeah we ain't even gonna shed light on that situation we ain't giving no you know what i'm saying okay but (laughs) kiki has been really an inspiration to me and my sister as well yeah i mean like i said we grew up with her and we trying to be big bosses too so shout outs to you kiki you're a great mom a great uh, person from what the industry right. seems, you know, fun person, fun personality, bubbly, beautiful, okay. and no shade to the women in the industry. But I want to shout out to your natural body, okay? Period, because we don't get to see enough of that. And also, um, Kiki Palmer, whoever now, not saying Kiki ain't been on it before, but it's like since she got pregnant and had that baby, I think she got a new makeup artist and a new hairstylist because she has. <laughs> really been on folks next lately so uh yeah. yeah shout out to kiki palmer keep doing your big one she's just glowing we love it so guys we are wrapping up our first episode it's coming to a close but before we let y'all go before i let go okay sorry before we let you go um i wanted to give you a little bit of a takeaway and what we like to call on the show danny's dose I'm Danny. Danny's dose. And this is what it says for you guys today. You will be amazed at what you attract when you start believing in what you deserve. That's a good one. Okay. Like you got, if you attract positive things, great job, family, great health, you know, maybe you're working on something personal this year. And if you believe that you deserve it, that's what will come to you. It's all in the mind. And you'll be amazed. You will be amazed at what you attract when you believe in what you deserve, period. So take that with you guys, and we will see you on our next episode of Sister Sound Off. Sister Sound Guys, before we get out of here, (laughs) this is our first episode, first of many, but you can watch us on YouTube, and you can listen to us wherever you get your um, podcast, okay? Okay. And, of course, you can follow us individually on, sorry, social media, and um of course youtube and shoot you know keep up with your girl because we will be your new favorites all right see you on the next episode guys Woo, we're out